Block manipulation. Let's take a look at how we can work with different blocks. So, for the beginning, we need to add a block first. We can add a block by clicking on it and dragging it to the main sequence sheet and letting go of the mouse. That's one way we can add a block. Another way is to simply double click the block, like that. And the block is automatically added and connected to the previous one. Then, if we add a block by dragging and dropping it in place, we can see that this block is not connected to the previous one. So we, what we can do to connect the blocks together is either grab the block, move it over the previous block until the black line appears between them and then let go of the mouse and the blocks are automatically connected. This little arrow down here between the blocks shows the connection between them. Another option to add a block, or sorry, to connect the block, is to place a new block, select the previous one, so a small X appears at the bottom of the block, and when we hover with the mouse cursor over that X, we can see that the mouse cursor changes. When that happens, we can click and drag a, li drag a line to whatever wo block we want to connect it to. So we drag the line over the next block, let go of the mouse, and the blocks are connected. The third option, if we need to place the block in between two blocks that already exist, is to simply drag it between the blocks and let go. And the block is automatically placed between the previous two blocks and it also connects them automatically together. If we made a mistake or just want to get rid of the block, we can simply select it and press the delete button on the, on the keyboard and the block is deleted. Another option is to right click on the block and select delete. Like that. If we need to change the connections between the blocks, we can select the line like that and press the delete button. And then we can reconnect them in which way, which way, whichever way we want. Another option to manipulate blocks, especially if we need them uh, in multiple places, the same blocks, we can also copy them. If I right click on the block, I can select copy and then let's say I want to place it here, right click again, click paste and here we go. The same block copied in another place. We can also manipulate multiple blocks at the same time by pressing and holding the control button on the keyboard and selecting multiple blocks, like that. Then we can for example, copy them and paste, even multiple blocks at the same time. Or if we want to get rid of multiple blocks at the same time, we can also select them by holding the control button and then, for example, delete them. That's it.